All right, local artist Tyson Knight stopped by our studios today to tell us about his upcoming closing of the Palm Springs mashup, masterpiece mashup, and also give us a heads up on a great event showcasing local student masterworks. Here's our interview with Tyson. The Masterpiece Mashup is drawing to a close, but here to tell us a little bit more about the closing and a special event that's happening Friday, the man behind the art, Tyson Knight. Welcome back to the program. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me all the time. Man. Always, it's a pleasure seeing you. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. Uh, talk a little bit, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to this event in mm -hmm. a moment. Talk a little bit about your background as an artist and, and how you got to where you are right now. You know, I got to where I'm at through just straight blessings, man, and, and people helping me, uh, you know, on my way, you and others. You know, just giving me opportunities, man. Um, you know, I started out as a, as a kid drawing in my room and my parents seeing that and encouraged me to get into the arts. And, um, you know, at teenage years gets a little wonky, um, kind of fell off the rails, got back on, you know, and just kind of just was able to manifest it and bring that art to the forefront. So it's just amazing that I'm able to do these things. I always appreciate you sharing that because, uh, <laughs> you know, I think some kids who are very artistic, mm -hmm. but think, uh, you know, I, I'm just not gonna get a break. Yeah. Uh, and you went through some really tough times, and yes. I think your story is, is really inspirational. Uh, and now your artwork is in a lot of different places. Talk about this Masterpiece mashup and the event coming up on Friday. You know, the Masterpiece mashup came out of um, having a lot of time on my hands during the, like, the, the, the middle of the pandemic in 2020. And I just came up with this idea where I have these muses, these artists that I love, like pa Basquiat, Picasso, and Keith Haring, and Roy Lechtenstein. So I said, why don't I just mash all those together in one piece and then add a Tyson Knight style to it? So I had so much time on my hands, you know, so I uh, just got on this journey of painting these paintings. And um, I, at the time, I didn't know why I was painting them. I just got inspired. But now I know that it was able to share with people for the Masterpiece Mashup Collection, which is going to be shown um, at the Palm Springs Cultural Center uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday. Friday night yeah. is going to take place at 6 o'clock. And it, as you mentioned, you mm -hmm. were inspired by a lot of different artists. Yeah. We're looking at some of the artwork. And you've kind of put it all together with your unique style, yeah. uh, which I think people here in the Valley are getting more and more familiar with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's and, really cool, man. <laughs> uh, the, the Cultural Center is a great gathering place for mm -hmm. the community, yeah. but I think a particularly appropriate place to bring this kind of artwork where you can, you, you're bringing lots of artwork, art styles together. Yes. The Cultural Center brings a lot of people and their lifestyles together, yes. so it's a nice combination. Yes, I, I believe so. I think, you know, I mean, you, you have people that like certain types of art, but I think in any art genre, there's going to be something somebody likes. Like, hmm, that's interesting. So I think it's really cool that uh, the Cultural Center gives us the ability to you know, share our culture and share culture with others and get, get this huge appreciation for all styles of art. So I think that's really amazing. Well, I think you do a fantastic job of making art approachable for virtually anybody. Yes. <laughs> uh, you've got another event coming up on August the 12th that's gonna be taking place, what, at the Porsche dealership, correct? Yeah, Porsche Palm Springs. So I'm in a collaboration with Porsche Palm Springs and we're gonna be doing a uh, exhibit for kids. So I had some of my students paint a Porsche painting and we're going to display that and also we're going to be actually doing a live art performance painting and people will come in and paint with me, families, other kids, you know, Porsche is really cool, Palm Springs, they're really cool over there. And I think that you've really focused on getting kids involved in art as you were a youngster mm -hmm. and yeah. fell in love with it yeah. and it was really a lifeline for you and yeah. you're kind of helping out those other kids that you see coming along the way. Absolutely, you know, I think it's important because I think it, it, it instills a certain amount of value in you and it inspires you. You know, as a child, you're trying to find this way to find out who you are in this world, right? And through art and creativity, that can help you, you know, manifest that. If even if you're not going to be an artist, right? You can take that into other, you know, sections of your life. But I just think it's really important to inspire younger people because they are our future. Well, I appreciate how much you give back to the community and especially to the kids. Thanks for coming on the eye. Thank you, man. Always a pleasure, brother. <laughs>